Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at uh, applications of calculus to the physical world, in particular projectile motion, and we're continuing on with problem two uh, with this soccer ball which is now being kicked horizontally instead of at some angle alpha, I think it was 30 degrees in the previous problem. So we're now going to go through the uh, equations. Uh, so how do we do this? Well, we always just start off with uh, you know, breaking it up into the components, x and y components. Uh, and we always start up with the second derivative, if you like, y double dot. And we always know that that's actually, in this case, uh, gravity, which uh, you know, in some cases is 9.8. But we usually a lot of problems just take it as 10. So we write it as minus 10 as it's acting down. Uh, and x double dot, OK, no, this is, there's no uh, horizontal acceleration. OK, so that's not too bad. They all seem to start off like this. It's pretty easy. Then we. Uh, Integrate, if you like, stepping one back in terms of derivatives. Uh, to, okay, so y dot. Now, okay, you can just see here it's equal to what? Minus 10t plus some constant. Um, actually, make that a c, so constant c1. Okay, uh, let's call that c1. And x dot just is equal to, say, c2. Now, we're going to have a quick look now at how we can work out these constants, um, basically. So let's actually have a quick look at the situation. OK, here you can see here we've just got x and y axis. And let's actually just have a quick look what's actually happening. Well, uh, from some point, uh, I'm just going to mark the point here at the 0, 20 meters on top of the building. We're kicking the ball out horizontally. Now, it's going out this way. Now, the first thing that you can see is that there is actually no uh, horizontal, well, no, I should say vertical component, so y dot is actually zero. So if I just put in, a, a say, a flight path, we can just see that it'll just sort of drop down like this, hitting the ground somewhere over here. Okay, so it's not going up. And the maximum height, obviously, is at the 20, okay, so at the top of the building where we uh, kick the ball from. Okay, so we now have to have a quick look at Okay, so all the velocity is now acting in the x direction, okay, and that's 30. So, in fact, what, what do we have? Well, we have that y dot is actually 0, and x dot is actually all the velocity in action, okay, in this case, meters per second, okay. All right, so let's uh, go back and fix those constants up, okay. So uh, we can see here that C1 would actually be 0. So actually just, just uh, wipe that out completely, rub that out. Uh, C2, you can see here, was actually all the velocity. So it's actually just going to be 30. OK, that's so far so good. OK, and then we uh, step one back uh, in terms of derivatives, if you like integrating again. Uh, and we have what? Y is equal to what? Minus 5t squared plus another constant, let's call that C3, uh, constant 3, the pen, the pen seems to be playing up a little bit, C3, okay, uh, and in terms of x, let's uh, integrate, uh, so x, that's just, these are the x and, x and y coordinates, okay, uh, this is just going to be what, 30t plus some other constant, C, say, 4. And you can see here the position actually is just uh, 30t plus c4. But what are these other constants initially? Now, I guess you could say, obviously, uh, we need to work these out initially when t is equal to 0. So um, if I just uh, go forward here, obviously, this is actually when t is equal to 0, OK, uh, the initial time. OK, now, obviously, as time progresses, we, we find we've just uh, come along the path and dropped down. OK, so. Uh, where are we? Well, you can see here, if t is equal to 0, our x is, you can just have a quick look over there, x is 0, and our y is actually up at the top, 20. Okay, that's not too hard. t is equal to 0. Let's go back and fix that up as well. Okay, so these constants now, uh, when t is equal to 0, we worked out that y is actually 20, okay, up the top of the building. Uh, and uh, we're starting at the origin, so our x position Initially, it was, in fact, 0, so we just wiped that out completely. OK, so here we have uh, the equations governing the motion. And these are much simpler, if you like, uh, than the uh, problem 1 uh, set of equations. Now, how do we get the equation of motion? Well, it's fairly simple. 
we uh, just eliminate the parameter in this case, which is time. Okay, so let's actually do that, find the equation of motion. Okay, well, how do we find the equation of motion? Well, as I was saying, we just eliminate that parameter t. We know that what uh, x is equal to uh, 30t. Therefore, t is actually equal to what x on 30. And all we need to do is substitute that into the y, uh, which is equal to minus 5t squared plus 20. And we need to just put that in, minus 5 lots of t, which is now x on 30. Okay, that's going to be x squared on 900 uh, plus 20. Okay, so this is the y. And you can see here this should simplify to be y is equal to, I think, minus x squared, I think, um, uh, 5 into 900, I think, 180. Okay, plus 20. So you can see again that this is uh, obviously, you know, parabolic. Okay, it's just a, and it's actually. Um, has been moved up 20. So it's just, just uh, as you can see here, just moved it up 20. A negative parabola moved up 20 units, okay, from the top. So this is the, if you like, uh, what we have here now is, in fact, uh, this is the equation of motion here. Okay, that's the equation of motion. Okay, which is very handy because we can actually use that to find when y is zero, uh, which we are going to, when it lands uh, on, hits the ground, we're going to have perhaps use it this way. Well, I'll show you a couple of different ways to actually find uh, uh, when or how far out from the building the ball does land. Okay. Okay, well, let's actually now have a look at uh, where this uh, soccer ball is going to land. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's uh, draw a flight plan. I think that's easy. I always like to draw a little picture. Here we go. Uh, this is the Y. And the X is along here. And uh, from some point say 20 meters on top of a building, 0, 20. We're going to be kicking the ball out and it's going to be going down and landing some spot out, obviously out from the edge of the building. Now uh, how do we actually work out uh, where this particular point over here okay, is going to be? Now that point there, as I said before, we can actually do that a couple of ways. We knew that the, the actual flight plan, or the flight path, in terms of equations, was actually called um, y was equal to minus x squared on 180 plus 20. Now, we could just equate that uh, y value to 0 and solve. Uh, we have the uh, equation of motion, y equals minus x squared on 180 plus 20. We want to try and work out where our um, soccer ball is going to land over here. Now we can do that a couple of ways. Um, we know that its y position actually is zero, what's well, its height is zero at that particular point, it's actually on the ground. So let's actually do it the easy way first. Uh, okay, uh, let's have a look. Um, we know zero, so zero must equal minus uh, x squared on 180 plus 20. Uh, let's just solve that. Uh, okay, x position would be, say, look, what's that? Uh, uh, x, when you rearrange that, x squared, I think, is what, 3,600? And x is obviously plus or minus 60. We'll just take the positive square root, which would be just 60 metres. OK, so we know that this position over here actually is uh, 60. Now, um, let's actually do it another way as well. So let's actually uh, try getting that another way. Well, the other way is uh, using the time, the actual, that parameter. So we know that also... Okay, zero must equal minus five t squared plus twenty. As you know, these these equations govern all the motion. Therefore, we can actually get the time when it hits the ground. So let's actually make that okay. Uh, what's that? Minus twenty equals minus five t squared uh, divided by five. T squared is equal to four. Okay, if time is positive, obviously. Uh, therefore, okay, t is equal to two. So we know this. Uh, ball is actually landing after two seconds we've kicked it from the top of the building okay fairly quick trip down okay uh, so we know it's t equals two so let's actually work out its x position okay therefore we know that uh, uh, x is equal to 30 times t okay so uh, let's just, just we know that the x position okay we know the time is two okay two seconds to get to there okay uh, so let's actually say it therefore x is, as you can see here, 30 times t, 
uh, and the time is 2 seconds, therefore, obviously, x is actually 60. So that's using the time. Okay, uh, we, the previous one, we actually used the, uh, well, the equation of motion and set it to zero. Okay, so that's just a couple of ways to try and work out, you know, where the ball has landed. Now, the final part of the question is the angle the ball is landing. So um, you might remember how you did this. This is, uh, we just actually put a little vector in uh, like this, and then we just draw up a right angle triangle here, and that y, that's y dot there, that's x dot here, and then we just look at the tan of the angle, which I usually let be beta. So I'll just, uh, okay, uh, drop some of this out. And we'll have a look at, um, okay, so let's put the angle beta in, okay, uh, let's call it beta in here. This is the angle we're looking at, okay, and we know that what the tan of beta, uh, taking the absolute value so that the angle is not negative, uh, y dot opposite or adjacent, x dot, okay, just have a quick look here. The x dot is actually um, is 30, and the y dot when the time is. 2 is actually minus 20, so it's actually going to be minus 10 times the time at that position. But remember, we worked out that was actually 2. So we did need the time actually to work this angle out uh, over 30. I take the absolute value, and this turns out to be, I think, about 34 degrees um, to the nearest degree. So it's about 34 degrees. Okay, well, you can see this is actually, the problem two was a bit easier than uh, problem one, actually, because you remember this ball was coming straight out this way, and which made life a little bit easier for us. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll continue on with the harder problems shortly. Bye for now.